Uh, this is uh, going to be a little feeding video that I'm going to do of the uh, tire track eel. This is a little piece of octopus and uh, my tire track eel is down in the bottom of this aquarium. I put it on the end of this copper wire so that I can put it right down in front of his home and then my trick is to get him to come out. This is a very shy fish and uh, he might come out and you might get to see his eye just a little bit. This is a piece of octopus. And there was the first part of the feeding video. Not very exciting. And just stay right there for a minute while I get the next piece of octopus ready. And put it into the water like that. There it is. See if I can get that right down in front of his home and get it on camera. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I know. Not sure I got out. Oh, there he goes. I hope I got that on film or on video. Get another bite of it. This little copper wire that I use to uh, put my octopus onto is just a piece of. Uh, wire from a uh, electrical cord that I stripped out. Let's see if I can <laughs> that is a, a big old uh, tire track eel and I've had this uh, particular fish for more than two years. Than I've had my fire eel, and it's just incredibly shy fish. It likes to be hand fed, so there's another piece of that food. I'll put that <laughs> on the end of this copper wire. Let's see what I can do here. There we go. <laughs> there's his tail moving. That's a tire track eel tail. I got this from a local fish store in uh, Boise, Idaho. I traded some Petricola uh, catfish for it years ago, or it was an angel, a bunch of angelfish. I can't remember for sure which. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, portion of the feeding video. I'm going to feed him some more, but uh, I haven't got it cut up into bite-sized pieces yet. This uh, octopus and uh, some squid that I have is some that uh, we got at Costco at uh, just absolutely made, just tasted awful. <laughs> and uh, my tire track eel doesn't seem to mind it at all. Doesn't like the uh, oysters, but uh, likes squid and octopus.